What's up, Champions fam? It's Zeke 410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. This is going to be short, sweet, and brief because this past weekend's Flash Feud series has officially concluded. Mad love, kudos, and congratulations to all of you. I hope you and yours were able to dominate and get to the position that you seek. But nonetheless, during this entire weekend's festivities, we had crazy, crazy amounts of banners and in-store offers that were absolutely ludicrous. Now, in my previous video, I discussed the differences of champions when it comes to banners and other top-tier mobile games, such as Fate Grand Order, aka FGO, having their special event banners and gotchas up, as well as their normal friend point summons and their story gotcha. And then even Dokkan Battle, sometimes just running one LR banner, and then sometimes they even have two banners up, giving you a little bit of variety. I mentioned that they had a Super Vegito banner up, as well as a Bootinks banner up. And Champions, I was hoping, was going to prove me wrong after my last video. Because not only did we discuss the banner situation or how convoluted Champions can be at times, we talked about Adam Cole, baby, who we will see shortly. But I was hoping they would prove me wrong. I was hoping this weekend maybe they might just calm down a little bit. They might tone it down. But you know what? They, you know what? They proved me right. They proved me right, and I'm still optimistic. Change can come. Change is a good thing. Might take a little longer than other situations, but maybe one day they'll get around to realizing, let's just make some real solid banners that will run for a set amount of time instead of always hitting our community with so many banners at once that it truly puts them in a fight-or-flight situation because that's what they did this weekend, y'all. Check this out. Now... Some of these banners might still be available by the time you watch this video, and they might be gone depending on when you watch this video, but just look at this, okay? Now, this is not including the silver and gold league loot banners that are permanent mainstays on the game, okay? These are the other banners that are going to alternate and rotate out. For this past weekend, okay, at one moment, we had... A IGC in-game cash Hollywood Hogan banner. We had the return of player's choice elite edition at that. Now, these are the banners that a lot of people probably went after because the minimum rarity that you could get out of here were three stars. And then the highest was four-star gold. So, these are probably the banners that were getting hit up the most, okay? But then, let's not forget Adam Cole, baby made his debut this past weekend, and we even had some Hall of Fame banners popping up. Now, this one was for, hey, yo, the bad guy, Chico Reza Ramon, Hall of Fame powerhouse Scott Hall. But think about it. We're up to four banners now, right? Then we had our Flash Feud banners. And with the Flash Feud banners that we had, we even got a strap banner. So now we're up to six loots. Six loots, okay? In one sitting. But wait, wait, it gets better. Then here we are. The pay-to-play MLC weekly banner and the free-to-play MLC banner. So if you include the silver and gold league loop banners, you had a grand total of 10 banners up at the same time. Now, remember what I just said, FGO, an event banner, a story banner, and a friend point banner. Three, Dokkan Battle. Sometimes they run one LR banner. Sometimes they double up and give you two. But you still have your friend point summon as well. And you have other banners where you can buy certain tickets and everything from the shop. And you can pull on those when you get those said tickets. So we could count those as well. It's kind of similar to a Gold League banner. But 
10 banners all together. And even if I don't include the silver and gold, you have eight banners. Two, four, six, eight. In the midst of all the feuds that were going on, in the midst of all the tours and the content that we have going on, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Because I'm pretty sure that some, maybe a lot of players, went in on all of these banners. Not just one banner. I'm pretty sure there's some people who dipped in on a couple of these banners. They're like, oh, I need that strap. I need a strap. Or, oh, I need I need Hogan for that well, for that one banner. I need to go for that. Oh, wait, I, I, I need a higher fuse of Pete Dunne. I need to go for him real quick. Oh, I love me some China and Ember Moon. Man, what about Root of All Evil Black? He could be my go-to tech, right? Then the same thing here. I love to shock the system. Or I grew up on the machismo of Reza Ramon. I got to have him on my roster. I need a Hall of Fame champion to go with my Hall of Fame booker, sucker. Or maybe you just want to have Hulk Hogan inject the game with a poison, brother, as Hollywood Hogan. Or maybe you want to let the fiend into your account. Eight banners. Ten total. When's enough enough? Now I'm not gonna sit, I'm not gonna leave out without saying this too. As much of a shocker, not really, this was to see in the game. I have to say, we enabled it. If we continue to, you know, bite the bullet and continue to invest in all these different types of banners, they're gonna continue continue bringing them out. Now I know the whole hashtag hashtag make WWE champions better didn't last long. But I still have hope in my heart. That's why I still represent it. There's still a chance that we can come back together, form Voltron, and make things work. But if you keep on buying, if you keep on going in on all these different banners, if you keep on buying all the offers in the store like this, we're never going to get to a point where we just get a proper banner in champions a proper be all end all banner where everyone can be at peace and you know be on good terms to spend their disposable income on instead of getting scoped because just as often as you see people happy for someone who pulls something good you also see people very toxic and ignorant when someone gets something good i want people to win i know there's some asshats out there that'll throw out you know is Immortal Hulk Hogan any good? It's like, bro, come on, man. Come on, dude. You 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 know. You you know what you got. You know what you got. Come on, bro. But then there's some other people who are literally like they're just so happy just at the fact that they were able to pull something solid, something good, and they've been waiting for that to happen. They'll even show what their account was like before they pulled them. And you're like, I'm glad that somebody won. I'm glad someone didn't get scoped. I'm glad the scope gods bless you, my boy. I'm happy for you, my champions, queen. Do your thing. But it does get to a point. You know, people always say they want that one banner. But when it's too much, too much. Nonetheless, y'all, I hope y'all had an amazing weekend. I hope y'all were able to clear the content when it came to Adam Cole's debut. Hope y'all have fun feuding. Some crazy hours, man. I tried my best. I was able to participate in all of them. Even worked this weekend. Had a good time with my broskies and my siskies at Phoenix Rises. And I still love the game to death. If not the game, the people that I met from the game, man. And um, a lot of streams that went down this weekend. The old boy, but Benny did some streaming. The OG Gerson stream for a bit. Fun streams. Great people. Great energy. We're moving into another week. We're getting closer and closer to another MLC review video. I just hope y'all are all having fun. And most importantly, I want y'all all to win. So with that being said, y'all, what are your thoughts? Ten banners all up at once. What are your thoughts about that? And if you could 
properly construct a banner for people to pull on, how would you do it? What would you do? Nonetheless, bad times don't last, but champions do. Mad love to each and every single one of you, my beloved champions fam. Damn, they really outdid themselves with this one, man. Eight banners. Eight banners. <sighs> Who knows what's next? I just pray we don't end up seeing 15 or 20 anytime soon. Peace.